For to us a child is born, to us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. O oh, sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous things. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation for him. The Lord has made known his salvation. He has revealed his righteousness in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth in a joyous song and sing praises. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Our reading for today is for New Year's Eve, for, from Romans chapter 8. For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. For the creation was subjected to futility, not willingly, but because of him who subjected it, in hope that the creation itself will be set free from its bondage to corruption and obtain the freedom of the glory of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. And not only the creation, but we ourselves, who have the first fruits of the Spirit, groan inwardly as we wait eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our bodies. For in this hope we were saved. Now hope that is not seen is not hope, but who, for who hopes for what he sees? But if we hope for what we do not see, we wait for it with patience. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. Our devotion today comes from Martin Luther's lecture on Romans chapter 8. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know how to pray as we ought, but the very Spirit intercedes with sighs too deep for words. Romans 8, verse 26. It is not a bad sign, but a very good one, if things do not seem to turn out, if things seem to turn out contrary to our asks. Just as it is not a good sign, if everything turns out favorably for our requests. The reason is that God's excellent counsel and will are far above our counsel and will. It sometimes happens that when we pray to God for something and he hears our prayers, and begins to give us what we wish, he gives in such a way that contravenes all our conceptions and ideas, so that he may seem to us to be more offended after our prayers and to do less after than we asked him than he did before. And he does all this because it is the nature of God first to destroy and tear down whatever is in us before he gives us good things. When everything is hopeless for us and all things begin to go against our prayers and desires, then those unutterable groans begin. The Spirit helps us in our weakness, Romans 8. For unless the Spirit were helping, it would be impossible for us to bear this action of God by which he hears us and accomplishes what we pray. Then the soul is told, wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord, Psalm 27. But those who have the Spirit are helped by him, for the work of God must be hidden and never understood even when it happens. We pray. Almighty God, grant that the birth of your only begotten Son in the flesh may set us free from the bondage of sin. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. We gather for in-person services at Faith Lutheran Church tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. at Faith Lutheran Church, 6000 West State Road 46 in Columbus, Indiana.